Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint, and today we're going to be talking about sunburn. I'm actually here in the city of Van Nuys, and I'm here at Gabrielle's house, and she invited me here to discuss um, her backyard, and I found an issue where one of her trees actually has third degree burns, and I know we only talk about burns as it relates to people, but plants can get sunburns as well. If you want to um, come a little closer. I'm it's good, it's good. Out. Is it close enough? It's great. Okay. Um, I'm concerned about this, if this is going to be an issue. The sound yeah. of the filter. Or should I, like, so, plants as well as people can suffer from burns. And first degree burns on people is usually evidenced by um, a little reddening to your skin. Second degree burns actually get past your epidermis, which is your outer layer, and actually to your dermis layer, which is underneath your skin. And third degree burns are characterized by damage all the way past even the dermal layer. And that usually requires skin graft, um, hospitalization, um, and usually intravenous um, you know, infusions as well to replace all the water that's also lost from your body. So um, burns are severe and as, as they relate to people. And being in the sun for too long can cause all the way to third degree, third degree burns. Unlike people that can actually escape the sun by jumping into the pool, by escaping, going indoors, by putting on some clothes, plants can't do that. And I've got a perfect example here in the garden where the landscaper was here about six months ago and pruned a citrus tree and actually opened the canopy so much that too much light actually got into the trunks, the underlying trunks and branches, that the plant actually sustained third degree burns. And let me show you, come and follow me here. So here I am now in front of an orange tree um, at this resident's home and as you can see it's loaded with fruit and in fact the resident said this is the best most productive year ever but I'm like this is actually the sickest this tree probably has ever been and it's its way of saying I'm giving you as much as I can because this may be my last year of fruit production. And let me show you why. Take a look underneath what happened here. And right here was the branch that was pruned and you can see how large it was. It was at least 20, possibly 30 years old um, right here. And this went up and out in the direction of the swimming pool and that was probably the reason it was pruned. And then take a look at what happened underneath. Look at the bark, how it's peeling. All of this is dead, dead skin. If this was your body, this would be your skin coming off. And it goes all the way down, all the way down, all of that damage. Take a look at those cracks. These are third degree burns on a plant. And I don't know if anyone has ever described this as third degree burns, but this is a third degree plant burn. The epidermis, the dermis, and it's damaged all the way to where the wood is. So this is now a perfect entryway for termites and wood boring beetles to get into the tree and start hollowing out the center of the plant. The other thing I want to point out here is the sun and it'll be out here in about the next hour, is shining on this side of the plant. If you were to go around back, I don't know if you can work your way around with the camera, you'll notice that this entire back side of the plant is not damaged. And this is the side that's actually now bringing the sugars and the juices um, and all the life-giving um, support is coming from the back side, the shaded part of the plant. And what we're gonna do here today is actually um, coat and protect this part of the plant and actually will for cosmetic we'll actually even paint the backside as well so it all looks uniform but we're going to cover this with a product called ivory organics this here is ivory organics it's a three-in-one tree guard paint it says just add water it's a natural tree trunk barrier um, protection against damaging sunburn and insects and rodents and it's for use on roses fruit and nut trees ornamental trees and shrubs last weekend was a weekend that had record high heats here in Los Angeles, California. Um, another thing I can actually point out with this rose bush that's right behind me, and this is actually in the shade of the plant, and I've noticed that even these leaves that were green last week before the record heats have also got burnt from sunburn as well. So, um, and there's something we can do for this, which I'll show you um, towards the end of the video. I wanna take care of the citrus tree first. So this product comes in this can, and inside of it, this one here is color brown. I've actually got this brown paint powder, and some organic powder. So you add water to it, and because it's organic, it only lasts for a couple of weeks once you add water. So you use only what you need, 
and then it comes with this oil vial and the oil vial actually contains the oils to help repel the insects and to repel the rodents. Um, the, it's, it's, the rodent issue is usually an issue in the winter where moles, voles, rats that are looking for sugars will actually gnaw at the base of the tree and try to get sugars out of the tree. So this here is an oil vial, um, the paint, and what we're going to do here, and what I'm going to do for this residence, we're actually going to mix the brown with the white to basically make like a light brown um, color because we're going to need that much paint to actually cover this tree. And these are two pint sized cans that also comes in a gallon size as well. But we're basically going to take half of this paint powder and put the other half in the other can. And then we'll do the same with the white. The next step is to add some water. We're only going to fill it up halfway first. And then stir it. And then the last step is to add the oil vials. And I'm just going to add the entire oil vial contents of this can. And the next oil vial in this can. And now we can add the rest with water to the top and just keep stirring. This will take actually a few minutes to actually get all of the powder into the water. Um, and then as you apply it, you're gonna want to um, keep on stirring it every five to 10 minutes to make sure the oils are actually thoroughly mixed into the paint um, solution. While that's actually getting settled into the water um, and dissolved, I wanna show you one other orange tree that's to my left here. So here we are under another orange tree, and this here is a very successful orange tree as indicated by it's got an amazing canopy. Um, it's loaded with fruit and a lot of young fruit as well. And there's probably several hundred fruit up above my head. And what impresses me so much about this plant is you can actually see the tree trunk here is actually in excellent condition. Um, and again, that's only because it's in the shade. You want to make sure you grow your trees where they are actually shading and protecting the branches and the tree trunk. And you'll notice over here on this branch that I'm touching, that it, there's actually damage over here. And even though we're in the shade of the tree, there was a time, once upon a time, that there was, and you can see there's like a little bit of light here in this part, part right now, but there must have been a hole in the canopy that allowed too much light to hit this branch, and the branch actually cracked. So if you're in your garden, take a look at these signs, and before it gets this severe, this will actually take probably a decade to heal. So um, if you actually caught these issues, and if you take a look a little lower, I'll find um, another thing that's less, less severe, You'll actually see over here, there's like some cracking in the bark. Um, over here, it looks like um, there's a wound with some sap that's coming out of it. But this is a wound that later on, we're actually going to open it up to remove all the dead wood. And you can see it's already starting to callus right around there. And so rather than keeping this dead wood, which would be, again, food for the termites and the beetles and wood destroying organisms that might start here and then work their way into this wood um, and then work their way into the heart of the tree, we're going to remove that and then we're just going to um, brush some ivy organics over this wound as well so that we basically repel any insects from getting into the heart of the tree and we'll do the same here so you can see um, that we're actually going to be um, taking pretty good care of this tree and this tree is actually in I'd give it an A plus um, condition even though it's got some minor issues here and there um, this tree is doing wonderfully let's go back and actually take care of the tree now oh, you can actually stop filming. the video it's already started yeah leave it so here we are now we've just um, stirred the ivory organics three in one tree guard paint we've mixed the white and the brown together to create a lighter brown color and now we're just going to start painting and you're basically coating the entire tree a lot of the dead bark i would actually take the time and actually remove the dead bark all the way to where you can find the callus tissue if it comes off easily um if it doesn't so so far you can see it's, it's coming off quite well and then here in the back you'll actually take a if you can zoom in here you'll actually see this is the callus tissue so you can imagine how many years is it going to take for this tree to actually callus over all of this dead wood. It probably won't happen in this tree's lifetime. Um, but to keep the insects and the beetles out, to pr um, protect it from viruses and bacteria and any other pathogens that may affect this tree, we're going to coat it um, right up to the living tissue and then we're going to cover all of this dead wood pretty much um, with the product as well. And you can see what it looks like by mixing the brown and the white together. This is gonna be the, ultimately the finished color here. Here's another tunnel, which would be another entryway for more wood destroying organisms to get in there. So we're gonna soak that in with some ivory organics as well. 
and we just keep on brushing our way around it. Um, so you can see this is going to take a little bit of time. It'll probably take me about 20 or 30 minutes to so coat it. So here we are now um, with the rose um, bush that we discussed earlier at the beginning of the video. And I've got here a water bottle that's just got nice clean water in here. And then I'm just taking the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard solution and just adding, I'm trying to keep the bubbles from the top off, but I'm just going to add one or two teaspoons of the solution to the water. And we're just going to close that up. Shake it. And this is an excellent idea before planting any trees uh, to basically hmm. um, protect them from sunburn, especially when you install them as they're you know, susceptible to dehydration. And we're just going to spray all the leaves. The advantage is, aside from the light coloring that it has, that'll work as a sunblock, it also has the oils in there that'll also keep the insects off um, to protect the plants as well. And again, all the parts in this product are all organic. Let me see if I can get a little bit more, if you can actually zoom in. Um, I know sometimes you can actually see the lighter color maybe like right there in the drops, but you can imagine the whole plant, like here's another leaf that kind of shows like the lightness that's in the water. Mm -hmm. So this here is basically the sunblock for the plant. And if there's another 105 degree day like we had last week, it was a record heat here in Los Angeles in the last almost 40 years, um, this plant won't suffer, at least not suffer as badly um, with this protection. So the other thing I want to show here is on this side of the tree, there's all of these suckers and um, the owner actually was able to discover that there's like another citrus tree over here. Apparently it's got these really sharp thorns um, that are growing on it. She's like, I've been cutting it back and, and trying to keep the kids from running around and getting snagged in this tree. And this is obviously a different citrus than this citrus tree, this orange tree, which actually has very little to no thorns on it. And the reason is that this here is the rootstock. This here is actually what is creating the standard, beautiful, strong, vigorous tree is because of this rootstock. And this is a sucker that's coming off of the root. And I've shared with the owner that this here could be your insurance plan in the event that this tree dies in the near future. We'll actually graft this rootstock so we can create another magnificent, tall, um, and beautiful tree in the same spot using the roots that are already established in this place and graft it with any citrus variety of her choice. And this here could be that tree um, for her. So um, consider maybe keeping one or two, there's maybe too many rootstocks in this area and that's why I've got my pruners, that's gonna be my next project. But we're gonna select um, one or two rootstocks to remain and we're gonna um, nurture them over the next few years as we watch to see how the tree actually performs in the near future. One other thing I wanna point out over here, I'm gonna add this, I'm gonna just talk to you real quick. Did we use the umbrella before or not? So the other thing I wanna point out over here is um, we discussed that this tree um, was pruned, this branch over here that um, is anywhere from about 20 to 30 years, you know, based on the rings that we saw earlier before I coated it with paint. And I brought this umbrella as a prop to basically show what it was before. And if the branch was represented by this umbrella, you can imagine that this umbrella would actually shade and protect all of these lower tree trunks and branches um, with this branch up above. But by removing it, all of a sudden, all of the slide has entered and caused all of this damage um, to the tree. So um, be very careful if, whether you or your landscapers are actually coming into your garden and pruning your trees. Um, consider actually putting um, you know, our product, which is an Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard paint to basically protect your plants from sunburn, sun scald in the winter, insects and rodents, um, to give your plants the maximum life most number of years of fruit bearing years, um, if it's any other plant, just to basically preserve its life and give it the longest and healthiest life possible. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if so, be sure to like it and most importantly, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on all of our other Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard videos. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.